Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> oh, come and What is there to say about Mr. Arataki Ito? I am probably butchered it. His nickname is The Oni, and uh, he lives up to that name. He is truly a demon among men. First thing I want to cover about him is his normal attacks. Now, he can perform up to four consecutive attacks, and when the second and the fourth strike hits the opponent, he will gain a one to two stack of super strength i will show that in the gameplay so he gets five stacks i'll also show you how you can tell where you are on the stacks it's it's actually quite simple and one thing unique about ito is you cannot um what am i trying to say you can't attack in a combo and then dash and cancel out of it and then start the combo again it does not work that way it keeps track of it so if you hit on one and you dash you go to two and so on and so forth so if you're on one two three and you don't want to finish the combo too bad you have to finish it anyway because you try to dash out it does the combo anyway i think it's about two or three seconds you have to wait before the combo manually resets itself but you cannot skip back to the beginning you have to do the full combo and arguably his best point of his character is his charge attack oni has it in his like passive ability where he gains stacks so if you hold the charge attack without any stacks he just does a strong attack that winds up however if he's got at least one stack he can do a charge attack into a downward plunge for good damage as the more stacks he has the longer his combo does as you hold down the charge button on the mouse now his ability does three important things you can see four here it doesn't really matter it's three so the first thing it does is taunt enemies there's a good thing it does for that so it draws in the attack it inherits the hp based on your hp and if it gets hit because it's taunted he gets one stack not the burst but you know he gets a stack and then when he flees or if he dies the uh the bull he also gets a stack from that and finally his ultimate an absolute crazy crowd control ability it's insane it makes him an absolute demon on the battlefield nobody can stand up to him so it converts his normal attacks into plain geo damage cannot be overridden like it says in the text it also increases his normal attack speed and his attack increases based on his defense that'll be more important later when i discuss like how i have him built and on the first and third hit of his attack combo he will grant himself a stack let's go ahead and show you my e he goes ahead and charges it and then he gets into the stance he then can aim with it and then he throws out his target it's like a projectile it can hit if it lands on an enemy it does geo damage however this is more important here when it dies as you can see the back of uh, Ito shows a shining orb and as you build up that those stacks it fills out it gets brighter it's more easy to see there are five stacks of it and that will be more important as you will see let's go ahead and skip to where I have five stacks as you can see this is how the back of Ito looks like when he is at max stacks they are it's completely lit there's even an animation that plays when you get your last charge but i'm going to go ahead and show you now how it affects your basic attack so when you hold down the button it now does a 
five hit combo. And as you can see, I am expending my stacks as I'm holding down the mouse into an insane fast five hit combo, but it's a brutal fast five hit deadly combo that is better to be paired with your normal attack because you can go right into it out of a normal attack. So you can go one, two, and then go right into a combo and do five more attacks. So it's almost worth doing at the end of your combo. Maybe you do your basic four times or three times, and then you go right into your five hit combo. So we got his fundamentals down. We got his basic attack. We got his uh, bull or his ability. And we got his ultimate. Everything that we need to go ahead and jump into some fights so I can show you how he works. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these. Let's go ahead and jump into some fighting gameplay. We'll go ahead and start with a one-on-one. -on -one. So as you can see with my basic attack and my ability, I'm building up stacks. You can see the stacks going up. Let me go ahead and slow it down for you guys so you guys can see how the stacks build up. As you guys will see almost right now you should see that flash you see that that oh, let me stop so that flash of basically telling you hey you got full stacks you can do an entire combo now or a, a combo string of basics into your charge attack boom first attack with the bull uh 3250 then my first hit 1115 next hit 1916 next hit same thing 1115 one uh, another one and then the end 37 49 that is a full combo and i'm not even done i'm going right into the next string i'm doing a basic basic and then i'm immediately canceling that basic going into a three hit combo using these stacks all right i got a calculator pulled up so let's go ahead and math it out and in the span of seven seconds we did 16 thousand damage all together with just our ultimate and some stacks so absolutely insane numbers insane as you can see from the scenes where i'm fighting multiple people you can see how easily am maneuvering and using my uh basic attack in combination with my stacks to do insane damage and crowd control as well as combining it with my alt and my bull to do insane dps and uh, just insane crowd control dps just huge sustain absolutely demon i think it's also important just to show you guys uh, a little bit of the geo uh, hypostasis i think that's how it is pronounced and just show you that even when he can't use his geo abilities his ultimate or his bull he can still do massive damage to things that are protected from him well protect his abilities are basically they don't work so as you can see still does insane damage let me go ahead and show you a boss fight that uh is not protected from geo as a status effect and you guys can just see how much damage he does let me go ahead and show you here all right as you can see i'm waiting for the boss to come back down i have full stacks i have an ultimate i have my ability boom i activate my ultimate i'm gonna throw the bull for damage then i'm going to go right into my fury combo i want to go ahead and use them and then as i'm doing my combo i'm also getting stacks back from the bull excuse me and just absolutely shredding his hp so i just want to reiterate this is not his meta build i do i lack some things to do his meta build it, it has to do with defense and turning the defense into attack and having a weapon and i don't have that weapon so i had to use the gladiator set still works for me if you have the i think it's the uh i can't remember what it's called it's basically the weapon that one of the five star weapons that are being offered right now in the gacha uh during the event that that's that's basically his weapon if you can get your hands on it i don't have it so i can't use it i just want to show you guys how i have my team set up again not everything in the team should be the way i have set up it's just how i like to play however there is one person if you have him that i highly suggest using and that he is also a new character he is a four star character you can see him he's my number two is i think how do you pronounce it guru a guru goro i don't remember i don't know but you might say tim why why would you use Guru? I mean, can't you use somebody else? And the main reason why you want to use Guru, he synergizes very well with Ido. So as we go into his talents, as you guys can see, look at his ability is all around defense. So if I you have three characters, two characters, or one Geo character, you get effects. However, what's important here is you get one Geo character 
is defense. You get that just from having him in your party. And two, you get impenetrable, which increases resistance to interruption, which you might not understand how strong that is. Let's say that you're fighting a big uh, enemy and he can push you back if he attacks you at the right time and you're playing as Ito and you're trying to get your combo off. Just having him come out first, throw down the defense barrier, immediately grants him that resistance being knocked back. So you can just tank the damage and dish it back without stopping the combo or having to restart the combo. And you also get a defense bonus to people in your party. And again, Ito's damage scales off of how much defense he is also going on top of his basic damage. So it synergizes really well. His ultimate also scales with things that we want. Uh, defense, geo damage, it makes, uh, it makes Ito hit even harder with his ultimate and his bowl. So I highly suggest that you rock these two men together in the party they synergize really well and then have your two spots for somebody else however i have gene and um uh, fucking what's her name ningguang i think that is that how you pronounce your name i don't know how you pronounce the name and then gene for my heels it just works having three geo in the party because it uh scales with uh garo's ability to do more geo damage having three of them in the party so it just makes Ito hit even harder in his ultimate and altogether I like more damage. And here we are NX family at the end of the video. Before I go ahead and give you my final thoughts on Ito slash Oni, hit that like button, leave a comment. I love you guys so much if you made it to the end. You are the real MVPs. So let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts on Oni. Oni slash Ito is an absolute powerhouse of a character. He has insane crowd control. He has insane synergy with other Geo users. At the end of the day, he is a S tier or higher, maybe the one of the best DPS characters in the game. He is absolutely astonishing, especially if you can get the meta. I know his meta is even crazier because you can build insane defense and damage. I, however, do not have the things I need. Uh, should you buy, uh, should you roll the gacha game? Again, that's up to you guys and how much you have to spend. I highly suggest that if you are willing to invest to get him, very much worth it i was lucky enough to get him without spending money again that's, that has to do with the look of the draw i got him so he's an absolute pleasure to use he will make up my team comm going forward probably for the duration of my time playing genshin maybe depending on who i get down the line but doesn't matter we're not talking about them we're talking about oni and he is an absolute must have hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys are interested in any other videos i have put up i got a video for you here and a video for you right here as soon as the outro plays so go ahead and click on one of those if you want to see more of me and you know of this but i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace Doesn't use you, really The other one, it takes you